What is up my YouTubers? It's Jennifer and I'm coming at you with a tiny tiny mini shopping haul because I did not know that some of my items were coming in from Amazon that I ordered when I did my previous shopping haul and I could have waited but they said they were going to arrive later on this week so I decided you know what since they're here I'm just going to open them. If you guys are new to my channel, hi I'm Jennifer. I do um, a lot of different types of videos, mental health, um, I've tr kind of started to turn my channel into a shopping haul slash try on haul, which I'm long overdue for a shopping haul, or not shopping haul, a uh, try on haul. Anyways, that's beside the point. By the way, if you notice my shirt, um, I have worn this shirt a few, um, a few times. It's a Honeycut Farm. It's by a YouTuber called CJ Faison, and I have, in my other um, video, I ordered a hoodie from him. I have his link in that video as well as I will put his link in this video in case you guys did not see that video or any of my other videos. Um, it's a YouTuber who I really like. He does a lot of Haunted Abandoned. He's been on YouTube for like a thousand, I don't know, years, whatever. And he used to be a professional race car driver person. Um, basically, this is a shirt that he owns a Haunted severely haunted demonic farm up in like I think Delaware or whatever and this shirt is super beyond comfortable he will no longer be making these um shirts or hoodies or anything with the Honeycut Farm logo on them at all because he's um gonna bulldoze it or sell the property why am I promoting this I'm not sponsored I just it's I'm just saying it's really cool if you guys want to check it out I'm gonna link all this stuff below and this shirt is super comfortable. And if I buy anything from a YouTuber that I wear in my videos, I'm always going to shout them out because that's just who I am. Anyways, we're going to dive right into it. So all of these products that I ordered, which are not like at all that many, I think there's like six items, are um, all from Amazon. Because if you guys missed my last video, I kind of went on a Christmas shopping haul for myself. Yes, I'm selfish, whatever. So the first I'm and yes, I will be linking all the um, prices from Amazon that I bought these because I don't know if the prices are the same or not and the links for this. So the first item I got was this one line a day, a five year memory book. And um, this is the back of it. So basically it's a journal for the next like five years. I mean, it has like, you know, like little tiny like um, it's a calendar for the next five years and you can write the um, date on the top of it. It's kind of like a planner book, I guess. Um, it's this memory book, but it's it's blank. You know, if you guys can see that. I thought it was going to be like um, like one of those memory books that says like, oh, today I did this or today I did that. But I actually really like this because it's um, a good, like, sturdy book material and on the back of it actually I just read on the very very back of it you guys probably can't see that it's just 1695 right there you guys may not be able to see it yeah there's it's kind of itty bitty I did not pay 1695 for this I don't think but I do like this because I love planner books I love being organized even though I I have a planner book I don't really use it because let's be honest like everybody I think uses their phones by now but I have that all right then the next one I have is this year I will a 52 week guide journal to achieve your goals and this is what it is and this is the back of it if you guys want to pause and screenshot it and again um, if you guys can see that itty bitty price it was $15.99 I don't think I paid $15.99 for it but this is one of the this is what I thought that one was gonna be like it has like little tiny things like this and like this and we're just gonna you know like that you know so it's kind of like a really cool like you know check-in book type of thing and I really really like this because I'm gonna start using this in January and I have some other books like this but I always get these books and then I never use them or I start to use them and then I forget about them but there's that okay this is this is one of the few items I've been like stocking for like a thousand years so this is an all out of grocery list and I'm sure there's going to be a glare, but yeah, so it's, it's from the knock knock. Um, yeah, it's basically, I'm going to open this if I can here. Hey, 
I have no nails anymore because my nails broke, so I'm trying to figure out how to... Ah, what? We're going to use nail clippers. Because <laughs> I have no idea where my scissors went to, so yeah. Okay, nail clippers did not work, but... Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, because this way there won't be a glare. So, basically, they have a billion different like a little notepad thingy things for these. But I thought my idea to ordering these would be I could copy one of these pages. It's a shopping grocery haul list. So you guys can pause it and look at it. And I thought I could tear one of these blank pages off, put them in a laminate sheet, and then check them off every time I go grocery shopping. Or, or I can copy these pages and make extra of them. But they do have a magnet on the back so you can put them wherever it's magnet ma magnetized. Magnetized. Yeah. So there's that. Okay, so this is one of a thousand items that I've been kind of wanting, but not really wanting it, um, for a while. It was, I mean, again, those were all items that were impulse buying, but they're things that I've really been wanting for like years. This is one that I, I don't know. We'll just show it to you guys. This is what it is. Oh yeah, the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. And then this is the back of it. And there's um, a billion different Harry Potter cookbooks. And I'm excited because it has like, um, like, you know, four delicious pies, you know. And there you guys go. If you want to screenshot it and cook these recipes, I'll move my fingers so you guys can screenshot it. Um, or you guys can look at these recipes. Steak and kidney pie. I mean, you know, I don't know. Um, I was hoping there was like the, the butter beer, which I actually know how to make, which is actually... Um, but yeah, so I'm excited because like I love cooking. I'm not a big baker, but um, like lemon meringue pie. I've never made a meringue pie before ever, but like there's a classic one. And instead of having to look up my phone and have my phone die or my tablet or my laptop, it, you know what? Okay, how about this? People don't own cookbooks anymore. I don't believe there are people who do own cookbooks. I mean, there's a lot of celebrities out there who put out cookbooks but who actually let me ask you guys this if you own a cookbook do you actually read your cookbook or do you just look up the recipe online from the celebrity or whatever you want right let's be real i like books i like books because for me they are just i don't know they're they look cool on the bookshelf when you have like yeah my very last item which Okay, this I didn't want to buy. We'll put it this way. The only reason why I did not want to buy it, I wanted to make one myself. And just because a lot of them are new and I don't like them and whatever. But yes, yeah, so I did buy. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Um, and then this is the back of it. Um, the reason why I said I did not want to buy one is because most of them are like the cheap cheap versions of they're just they're kids they're kid toys basically and everybody if you comment below and say they're not kid toys they're real okay i played with them when i was in grade school with my best friend laura in nebraska in her basement and we lit candles and we would do the whole seance thing and nothing happened and i've always wanted one my mom swears that they're like demonic a lot of people probably swear they're demonic um, I understand that this is, you know, being Catholic, which I am, the exorcist, you know, don't play with the Ouija board, but honestly, I, you have to have a negative sense of self or whatever before you play with the Ouija board. And I'm not saying that that happens all the time, but I'm just saying, like, you can't go into it expecting anything. You can't sit there and go in it with a negative set of mind because what you put out in the world, just like karma. You don't have to have a Ouija board to put negative energy out into the world. Anyway, so this is what it is. It's just, you know, like, you know, it's it's this thick. If you guys could see. Oh, wait, yeah. What? Okay. Yeah, it's like really thin. And this is the front of it. I mean, it's a standard Ouija board. And this is the back. It's blank. I was going to make one myself. And then it does come with the, um, you know, I thought I had a glass thingy. It doesn't. It's a holy, you know, thingy. I mean, I could probably put a plastic thingy in there. And then that's just the back of it. And then the um, history of the Ouija board and the back of it. Um, and it doesn't, 
it doesn't feel like it's going to glide that well but you know plus i also want one because i can infuse it with a lot of like sage and stuff and cleanse it or put it outside and cleanse it because they always say cleanse your ouija boards before you use them and after you use them just in case any negative spirits come into them um but this goes with my um witch collection with the dowsing rods um and then some other things i'm trying to accumulate over time to build up my altar that i will have in my new house but yeah so that's kind of everything it's one two three four five so five items yeah i said five or six items anyways um like i said this is a mini shopping haul and i know you guys are going to cut me up for the ouija board and that's fine um i just i've always wanted one i don't believe to how about this i believe that there are spirits that will attach to this whether good or bad i just don't believe that i just curious because i'm so skeptical i don't think they work i think they're just i don't know i want to own one to see if it works but i'm very skeptical does that make sense it's kind of like the dowsing rods which i have to bring out and do a shop um a try haul because i did them the other day yesterday when i opened them after my shopping haul video and they did work um i was asking really really random questions and i was walking around like i'd ask like oh do you guys like pizza cross the rods you know like random questions just to test um and then i asked the other ones you know are you good spirit bad spirit male female whatever but that's the other point so i'm curious to find out if i can get that with the ouija board um Okay, yeah, I just went into a really random um, haul. Anyways, before I make this into a thousand minute long video, um, questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, anything below. Um, if you want to know, if you want me to do a session with the Ouija board and my dowsing rods, that'd be awesome. Um, as I have tarot cards, I'm trying to do another session with um, eventually because I don't remember if I did one on my channel or not. Um, or if you want to find out if I made any of these recipes, if you want me to make any of the recipes in here, if you guys own this book, that would be awesome. Um, I could also figure out a recipe and do, I might, I might do that. I always say might. I, I'm stop. I'm going to stop saying I promise I'll do this, but that's my plan, hopefully. Anyways, um, follow me on Instagram because I'll post these pictures. Um, on my Instagram channel and I do teasers every time before I upload a video and after I upload a video so you guys know um, like this video please um, subscribe to my channel because like I say I post sporadically and um, I'm excited to try and use like this book starting in the year 2021 I forgot what year it was ah. um, yeah you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you Bye. Bye.